Hi, it's Hunter Allen and I'm here to bring you another really quick little uh, video on the Leomo and how to analyze a motion analysis file. So one of those things that we're going to do here today is we're going to look at how intervals interact with some of this data. This athlete has created four different eight minute intervals here, a couple of little shorter intervals here at the end. So let's just look at how that we can analyze this and make it a, bit, a part of your analysis and understanding. So first off, notice that this is the first lap. This begins lap number two right here where these dashed lines are. That's lap number two. So let's scroll down here and we can see into this information we'll see lap number two. I'm going to come all the way down here and scroll back across the bottom and I'm going to come to lap number one. So let's rename this lap right here. We're just going to name this warm up. Okay, so we've got lap number one is our warm up. Our lap number two, we'll click on that little gear wheel. We're going to say eight minute number one. Okay, so that way we've got it. We know that that's the cool down in between each one of the recovery. We're going to rename that lap number four, eight minute number two. And then we'll have that one named right there as well. We can come down and we'll scroll across this bottom as well again. All right, and come back up here. We have this will be lap number three. You know, so we'll say eight minute number three. All right, and then this one here I've already renamed once, but I didn't put a number beside it, so we'll just rename this one again, number four. There we go. So now I've got those intervals renamed, and I can come down and let's scroll across the bottom here and just select those. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that interval itself. So that way it's selected now, and only the data for that interval is being displayed in our graphs here. So here you can see that we have power, we have heart rate, we have cadence and speed. And you can notice here in this little, here's the big picture of it, and here's just the little sliver that we're looking at between these two little um, gripper bars there. Notice this athlete's got a lot of dead spots here on the left leg, so that's very common and normal for him and something that, uh, that we always see in his rides. But again, most of the data here from the rest of it is pretty, pretty basic. Nothing crazy here with a lot of movement of his hips rotating or rocking, so that's great. Uh, and we can see that I've already eliminated all the cadence below 80 RPM and also filtered out the small movements. So he does have a small dead spot here at the top of his pedal stroke, a little bigger on the left leg than the right one. And you can see in the PCD map it shows up where those kind of bad areas are. Uh, now, that's only places where he pedaled, right? So those are just the only four places he pedaled in pretty narrow band. Uh, and so in here, we've got 336 out of 436 uh, points, and those are relatively uh, got a dead spot in that area. So it's showing where those things are and the cadence ranges. As we move across, we can click this button here. We'll go to the next interval. You see that the PCD map changes a little bit here. You can see that that changes a little bit and gets a little bigger here. This right leg shifts back a little bit. Let's go to the next one and we slip, click on the next one here. And this one, it shows it a little different again. So each time you do an interval, you may see there's a change in the PSI and the PCD map as you fatigue. So certainly keep that in mind. Look at those things as you fatigue and then uh, you can make an assessment on is there a change you can make uh, as you get tired and fatigued a little more or maybe not. But anyhow, that helps you hopefully a little bit with the intervals and how intervals work inside uh, the uh, Type R app. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Hunter Allen of Peaks Coaching Group.